test and learn strategy. The HTP has used test and learn guidance from other major DWP programs such as Universal Credit and the Government Digital Service to build on best practice when designing our approach to developing and testing new ideas in the HTP. The Health Transformation Area provides a test and learn environment that enables the program to safely test new ideas quickly providing insight about what works and building the evidence base that sits behind our TOC. This enables the program to make informed changes to the way we are designing and delivering transformation. Test and learn principles. To ensure our test and learn activities produce high quality, innovative insight which drives behavioral, system and process changes whilst protecting our customers and staff. We use five principles to guide the HTP test and learn activity. Testing needs to be informed by the TOC. The TOC sets out the kinds of change needed to drive success and should remain the overarching reference point for all testing. Build engagement with a diverse range of stakeholders in from the beginning. Engaging with a broad range of internal stakeholders and consultation with external stakeholders, including small numbers of customers, at an early stage ensures that we are driving the right behavioral and process changes and are building the right thing for the people who need it. Take a consistent approach to test identification and design. By following a consistent prioritization process, we can decide what we will test and how we will measure successful outcomes from tests to ensure that testing drives quality learning. Protect staff and customers from risk. Staff involved in test and learn activity will be trained to deal with difficult situations that could occur when working with customers, meaning that tests adhere to the same standards for supporting customers and staff that are applied to all DWP services. Use a consistent and appropriate system of governance. Sufficient oversight is in place to scrutinize all the strands of the program and give a clear picture of what we are learning. Testing will be carefully managed to maximize available capacity while avoiding any potential contamination caused by running multiple tests at the same time. Prioritizing and designing test and learn as well as using the test and learn principles, our growing evidence base, policy priorities and operational deliverability will help the program to prioritize what gets tested and when. Our test and learn activity will take different forms depending on the kind of learning that is required. We will use a range of methods from exploratory research, to structured proofs of concept, and robust trials depending on what is appropriate and what level of evaluation and monitoring is proportionate. These decisions about method will be informed by the scale of the decision that the learning will inform, the risks associated with the intervention, and the existing evidence base. The types of things we will explore through test and learn, that relate to the HTPTOC and strategic outcomes, include how should we clearly communicate with our customers to build their trust in our services and decisions? How can we use data more effectively to decrease journey times and deliver better value for money? How can we ensure our staff have the right skills and training to best support improved customer outcomes? How could our processes be more person-centered to accommodate different needs and improve customer experience? How can DWP's IT and digital tools help the HTP services to be more flexible to future customer and service needs? Note, these are simplified examples and not exhaustive. The Health and Disability White Paper identifies several areas as having the potential to drive better experience and outcomes for people who appellate for health benefits. As we continue to evolve the program's approach to test and learn, we will look into the best options for progressing the testing of these new initiatives.